Steffi, it's been a long time coming for these teams as we know all that has transpired in the last year and some change. Play with poise today in this game. They get it into Mac. Mac showing off the moves and the first two points of the game. Freshman has had an outstanding opening campaign in her Wake Forest career. And there's Roxa inside. Conti, the senior out of Grove City, Ohio, inside to Moore. Moore finishing at the rim with the left hand. Trying to get the ball inside to the paint, Christina Moore. Great usage of her body, a little bit spin move around Natasha. It's a rebound, batted back out. They'll reset the offense. Mack working on a couple of defenders and gets it to go. We're all in the early going of this first round game between Wake Forest and Oklahoma State. And Christina Moore is responsible for all six points. Ready to play today. Really impressed with Mora. Fields on the bounce pass, nice recognition, giving it up for the better shot. When Collins, one of the true freshmen for this program, has made a nice impact since getting still water. That one blocked by Natoa. Ivana Ratza. Well, she leads the team in scoring almost 17 a game. She's had a fantastic season for Jen Hoover and Natasha Mack. Shooting at better than 50% on the season. That one off the mark. Mack with the rebound, but it's poked away. Good defense there by Watson. Oh. Watson turns right around a long two. And forth here to start this game. Ivana Rotsa, the senior, heady play. Uh Stolen away, Wake Forest on the break. Jules Spear, good look at that true freshman. Kicking it back out, Natoa. And cleaning up the glass is Natasha Mack. As this group was able to get there back in the 2013-14 season. Coming out of the timeout, and this one is knocked down by Lexi. Well, with Natasha Mack on the bench, other players have had to step up, and Lexi Keys the fresh line up and off the bench too. Yeah, they've really complimented Natasha Mack and Jamie Asbury. Here, here they are in transition. That's their bread and butter. She's looking for her shot. She is a pass first point guard, but when she's aggressive, Wake Forest is better. Good unselfish they, play by the Deeks. Right, okay. and given the fact that the River Walk has. <laughs> so many titles in that region. Right, it's, say, trash. it's trash. It's <laughs> trash. I threw it I away Everyone's bracket <laughs> is trash. Everybody has thrown it in as a fucking made. We're picked to finish eight in the coaches' poll. Started off Big 12 play outstanding. 5-0 and record and there. Three zone and Oklahoma State able to get inside the paint dribble penetration. So going back to man, but Natasha Mack, that's, that's the problem when you go man. You just don't have the side. American helping the Cowgirls get out to a 9-0 run. Right now, Demon Deacons need to find an answer in the corner. That's Spear and Jewel Spear. Moore show and go. And that one was deflected by Mack. On the offensive end here today, red string. 10 points already in the ball game and what a take nice drive from the toes but that's how much of an impact natasha mack has had on this game inside just checking in is cassidy delap he's working in a chicken processing plant to think and, and we're talking about the potential to be a top five wnba draft pick you know what i'm saying yeah. I mean, she gets out there, and, and, and it, the toughness shows, right? Uh, because when you talk with her coach, because of the time that she puts in, the dedication, and it's paid off in a major way. Big shot from the outside. Those great stories. One of the best three-point shooters in the country, but she made some alterations to her shot as Mora coming back the other way. Changes something that late in their career and, and has success from it. But she certainly has and is having a, a great year as Jenna. Matt trying to weave her way through, gets her own rebound, the put back and one. 
So it's just a matter of if Wake, is, Wake Force is in that zone, they've got to do a better job of, of finding bodies instead of space. And again, Mac is active on both ends of the floor. The block, and they try to reward her on the other end. And she capitalized. 15 points so far in this first half, but the way that she has done it on both ends of the floor, anybody was trying to check her about her just being a defensive player? Gonti letting it fly again for three, just bouncing off the rim, but the putback. Cowgirls. Add to that lead. Nakanti. Moore working against Mack, and Mack banks it off the backboard. Natasha Mack. Terraza, Terraza knocks it down. She eyed that three all the way. Just too tough to defend. Natasha, Mack. the good news is if you filled out a men's bracket, you've probably thrown it out the window. But the women's tar tournament starting today, so I mean, you can pick the team yeah, that makes I'm it out all on the, the way other to one. April 4th. I'm, yeah, I'm out yeah. on the other one. <laughs> Here's Conti, who's now moved up to second all-time and career assist at Wake Forest, trying to make another helper right there, and she does. I talked about not being rattled, and we're seeing Wake Forest try to fight back, but Oklahoma State answers. They get it in to Mora Mora. He kicks it out. The three, and once again, back-to-back -back three. The ball movement as Barry and right now it's just raining threes. Well, there's it's, it's raining threes right now in this game. Both teams catching fire offensively. Here comes the defensive pressure. Nearly got away instead. The lap from Matt. Four starters from last year added. Six newcomers. And Moore is one of those who comes back from a season. Nice compliment, compliment player to Ivana Ratza all season long, but she's been aggressive at <laughs> Tasha Mack. Good movement. Finding the open player. Natoa on the drive, leaves the floater, bounces in. Collins, keys. Conti. Conti drilling it. The senior leadership on the other side for Wake Forest. Experience is a little bit more unique this time around as a big three ball goes down for Wake Forest. Trying to claw your way back into the game. Great It's got to be with their defense. Yeah. It's got to be tough with their defense. Want to win. Nice turnaround jumper from 15 feet for Ivana Rock. In large part, Tiffany, because Jen Hoover is really big on next play. Next play, her, her positivity. How about that play for the Cowgirls in transition? Her group trailing by 14, have to continue way to pick away at this lead. Nice move and finish from Taylor Collins. Obviously, Natasha Mack has been fantastic today, Tiffany, but in their eight games that they've lost, it's really just been Asbury and Mack. And today they've got balance, and here they are in transition. They're bread and butter for two. But it all started. Count today. 18 double doubles. Third best in Division I basketball in transit. Elbow jumper is true for Ratza. The Demon Deacons, you talked about just Jamie Asbury and what she's done, altered that shot, but she's also found ways to get the ball to Natasha. But Baylor and Maryland, and even Texas A&M, are teams that I am definitely have my eye on because you look at a UConn-Baylor potential matchup that didn't happen in the regular season. It's a top 10 draft pick right there.
Full substitutions in. Reverse layup, good. And they did it. That's not enough today. A convincing opening round win for Oklahoma State, 84 to 61.